Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this hat in this cow's set. Now this hat's a slouchy, and to tell you the truth, I don't wear slouchies, and I don't even know how you're supposed to really wear them. Am I supposed to leave my bangs out of them? I'm not sure, but that's what it looks like from, from the back. I'm not, I mean, I love slouchies. I think people look gorgeous in them. I just prefer a more form-fitting beading, mainly because I don't know how to wear them. But I guess, I don't know how my bangs are supposed to hang out or what, but I think it turned out pretty nice. And then the cowl is really simple to match. This is a very easy, <laughs> I apologize I, if that's not how you're supposed to wear them. I probably look silly in this slouchy, but it's very, very uh, easy to make. Very beginner friendly it's just single crochet and the yarn's beautiful and you know we just work in like back loops so that gives it that nice ridge effect of course you don't have to make this a slouchy you can make it a regular beanie if you want i might tear out some rows and do that for myself because i do look silly in a slouchy but um you guys want to go ahead and get started on this let's do it all right here's a closer look at the hat and the cow like I said, I don't know. I felt kind of silly. I'm not sure how to wear slouchies, but this is what it looks like. It's very simple, very easy, great for a beginner, but beautiful enough for even the advanced to want to wear. I like it a lot. I think it turned out nice. And then the cowl to match. Of course, you can make that any size that you choose. I'll do give you a quick measure of mine, though. Let's see. My cow measures... 14 inches wide or long I guess so, and then it's eight inches tall my hat my slouchy from top down is about 10 inches if you want to make it like I said I'll probably take out a few rows and make it a regular hat but that's the measurements of that and it should fit about a 21 21 and a half inch head and then this is the yarn that i use i use the premier so woolly yarn it's a 60 acrylic a 40 percent wool blend now it's a super bulky number six you do not have to use this yarn any super bulky six will work the color in case you're interested that i have used it's called sedona it's a very very nice yarn i enjoyed working with it and i think it's gorgeous now there are 80 yards per ball um, one ball got me the cowl and then less than one ball got me the hat so um, it took almost all of one ball for the cowl so if you make the cowl my size you're probably going to need about uh, 78 yards um, for the cowl of a, of a bulky six and then for the hat you're probably going to need about uh, 65 yards of a bulky six for the hat and then I'm going to be using a big old hook this is a size Q, which is a 15.75 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, first we're going to start off with the cowl. All right, now for mine, I'm going to start with a chain of 40. Now, if you want to make yours bigger, your cow bigger, or you want to make a uh, infinity, long infinity scarf that wraps up multiple times, you can chain um, any amount you want in any number of chains. There's no certain multiple. So what we'll do is, um, I chained 40. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow it down without twisting my chain. And I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form one large ring. So this will be the size of the cowl that goes around your neck. So if you prefer it to be bigger than this, you can make a lot more chains. If you want like a really long infinity scarf that wraps like two or three times, sure, by all means you make your chain as long as you want and then you slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring so what we're going to do now is chain one now that chain one does not count as a stitch we're going to go back in the same stitch and we're going to do a single crochet now what we're going to do instead of single crocheting directly into the stitch we're going to flip our chain over and you see these little bumps on the back of your chains we're going to go through that one single loop there and what that'll do is give us a little bit cleaner of an edge so we don't have to go back later and clean it up now i don't always do it this way but i'm going to do it this way this time so what you do is just kind of flip your chain over a bit 
and you find that one bump back or one little loop back there and go right into it so you're only going into one loop and then you single crochet and that's what we're going to do all the way around so i'm going to go to my next stitch and remember we're, we're flipping our chain kind of on the back side and we're working these little bumps here that you see it's just that one loop all by itself and i kind of got to pull mine up a little bit go into it and single crochet now if you're having a hard time working through that one little bump there on the back of the chain it's fine to go through it normally it's not really going to make much of a difference um, but I'm going to go ahead and work across my chain going into that one loop on the back of every stitch putting one single crochet in each stitch just like that kind of pulls tighter when you do it this way so that's why you see me I'm kind of loosening up my stitches a bit as I go but I'll show you one more time here's the front of my chain I'm just slipping it over and I'm going through that one back loop that's on the back and I'm putting one single crochet in each of those one loops on the back of your chain And as you can see, by doing it that way, it makes a little bit cleaner of an edge there. So now I won't have to go back at the end and clean that edge up. It'll just be already be nice and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and continue around putting one single crochet in every stitch, working in that back bump on every stitch until I get back to my starting point. All right, I'm coming to the end of round one. And you should have, if you're following along with me, you should have a total of 40 stitches because that's what we started with. Now what we want to do is we want to get a stitch marker because we're going to be working in a continual round, which means we won't be slip stitching at the end of our round. We'll just continue around working rounds and rounds and rounds without slip stitching. So I'm going to use this piece of yarn as my stitch marker. And I'm going to place it right here. That way I know where I begin and where I end. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to single crochet into my very first stitch but I'm going to do it in the back loop only. So you see right here the stitches have two loops. The one closest to you is the front loop and the one furthest away is the back loop. I'm going to go into the back loop only and I'm going to single crochet into that stitch like that and now I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch back loop only all the way around for row two so I'm only working in one loop and I'm just putting a single crochet in each stitch back loop only of each one and by doing the back loop only it's going to put a little ridge on it just kind of for texture or, or decor I guess decoration I'll show you here it leaves that one loop open there and it just kind of puts a little ridge there just to add, add a little added detail so I'm going to continue around on round two putting one single crochet in the back loop only of every stitch until I make it back to my stitch marker All right, I have made it to the end of row two and you can see I'm at my stitch marker and I still have my 40 stitches. So what the rest of the pattern is, it's just a repeat of row two. So we're gonna pull our stitch marker up and we're gonna put it right back here. That way we know where our row ends. And then we are gonna continue around putting one single crochet in the back loop of every stitch. 
Easy peasy, huh? Every time, so we're working on uh, row three, round three right now. Every time you get back around, if you're following along with me, you'll have 40 stitches when you make it back to your stitch marker. And then you just move your stitch marker up and continue around again, repeating um, row two. Rounds of one single crochet in every stitch, working only in the back loop. 40 stitches at the end of every round. And we're gonna do this till we get our cowl as thick as we want it to be. You know, every person's different. So you can make yours as thick or as thin as you'd like. Now I'm gonna keep doing rounds of my one single crochet in every stitch in the back loop only until I get my cowl as thick as I want it to be. I'm not quite sure how many rows I'm gonna do, but I'll let you know here in just a second how many total I end up with. Okay, I went ahead and done a total of thir <clears throat> 13 rows. You can do less if you don't like yours as wide, or you can do more. It's, it's up to you. It's your cow. You do it however you like. But I'm going to do one more round. So I've made it back to, back to my stitch marker, and I'm on round 13. So I'm going to go ahead and move it up. Actually, you know what? I don't even need it anymore. I'm just going to take it out completely. Now what I'm going to do is a round of single crochet, but I'm going to go through both loops this time. This will be our finishing round, round 14. So I'm just going to go through both loops of the next stitch in single crochet. And I'm going to do that in every single stitch across. One single crochet in every stitch, except for we're going through both loops that's the only difference. And when we get back around, we'll still have our 40 stitches total. All right, I have made it back to the beginning and I still have my 40 stitches. I'm gonna go ahead and just slip stitch into the next stitch and I'm gonna clip my yarn and tie off. That just about took my whole ball of woolly yarn. Now all you got to do is hide those tails and then you got your cow finished. Super easy. This is all they have left. Can that's couldn't get much better than that. Now we're going to start on the hat and the hat is going to be done very similar so it matches. Now when we worked in the round here like I said we used the stitch marker um, instead of slip stitching that made it seamless. There is no visible seam now since we worked in the round. And we're gonna do the same thing for the hat. So let me go ahead and find the end of my yarn. But first we have to increase the top of our hat. So let me set the cowl to the side. Now we're gonna start on our hat. You should have 24 stitches. Okay, now for the hat, we're gonna start off with a slip knot on our hook. And we're going to start at the hat, uh, the top of the hat, and we're going to work our way down. If you prefer to use the magic ring here, that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and start with a chain of three. So here is one, oops, two, and three. Now we're going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. Like that. So there's our ring. Now we're gonna do a chain one. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. What we wanna do is we wanna work six single crochets through the center of that ring. So we're gonna go right through the center and we're gonna work six single crochets. And there's six and you can go ahead and pull that tail and it should close up that center circle a little bit now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work in a continual round again so there will be no visible seam so that means we got to get our trusty old stitch marker back and we're gonna go ahead and place it right here where we just ended now at the end of round one there you should have six single crochets so we're going to be working in the back loops only for the entire hat, just like we did for the cowl. So I always count back my stitches. Six, one, two, three, four, 
five, six. So there's the chain one we did. We don't want to go into that. We want to work in the back loop only of our first single crochet, and we want to work two single crochets into that stitch. So we're starting round two, and we're going to work around, and we're going to put two single crochets into every stitch, back loop only, all the way around. It's interesting to see where the colors will, or the splots will play out this time on the hat. To see where they land, the, the different colors. So once you make it to the end of round two, you should have a total of 12 stitches. So you want to go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my marker up and I'm going to start round three. Now round three is one single crochet into the very first stitch back loop only just one single and then the next stitch is going to get two single crochets back loop only and that's what we're going to repeat now for round three one single crochet into the next stitch back loop two single crochets into the next stitch back loop only and we're going to repeat this pattern of one single, two singles, one single, two singles, all the way around until we get back to our starting point. All right, I've made it to the end of round three, and now you should have a total of 18 stitches. So your last stitch should have had two single crochets there in it. So we're going to go ahead and pull our stitch marker up, and we're going to begin round four. So round four is going to be one single crochet, back loop only, of course, into the first two stitches. So there's one and there's two. Now the next stitch is going to get two single crochets, back loop only. And that's the repeat for round four. One single crochet into the next two stitches through the back loop. So there's one and there's two. And the next stitch is going to be two singles into the same stitch, back loop only. So I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way around for round four one single in the back loop, one single into the back loop of the next stitch, and then two singles into the back loop of the next. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way around. One single, one single, two, one single, one single, two, until you make it back to your stitch marker. All right, I've come to the end of round four and you should have a total of 24 stitches now. Your last stitch should have had two single crochets. We'll go ahead and move our marker up and we'll begin round five. Now round five is one single crochet, back loop only of the first three stitches this time. So there's one, two, and three. And then the next stitch will be two single crochets in the back loop of the next stitch like that. And that's the repeat now for round five. One single crochet into the next three stitches. I'm going to stop saying back loop only because it's just the back loop only now unless I say otherwise. And then two single crochets into the next. One single crochet into the next three. And then two single crochets into the next. And we're going to repeat this all the way around until we get back to our stitch marker. All right, I've made it to the end of round five. You have two single crochets there in your last stitch. And you should have a total of 30 stitches now. So what we're going to do now is we're not going to be increasing anymore. Unless you feel like you want your hat to be for a larger size head, say 22, 22 and a half, um, you could go around again increasing one more, another row of increases in the same manner that we did. Um, but I'm going to go ahead now and I'm just going to start working rounds of one single crochet in every stitch in the back loop only. So I'm just going to continue around. I'm not going to be increasing in my hat anymore. So 
After a while, the more rounds you do, your hat will start to go down and look a little bit more like a hat. And we'll always have 30 stitches at the end of every round. So this is round six that we're on. One single crochet in every stitch until we get back to our stitch marker. Back loops. Just like that. All right, you wanna repeat round six until you get a total of 15 rounds. And that is starting from round one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 rounds and you'll still have your 30 stitches. Now this is for a slouchy. If you don't want this to be a slouchy hat, you could cut off a few rows and just, you know, till it fits your head how you want it, like a regular beanie. And if you want your slouchy to be longer than what this is, if you try it on and you feel like you want it to slouch more, feel free to add as many rows as you like. But I did a, a, total, a, a total of 15 starting from row one. Now on round 16, what I'm going to do is just do one row or one round of single crochet working through both loops that way it'll match the cowl that we did so i just smooth my stitch marker you don't i guess you don't really need it anymore but i'm working one single crochet through both loops now for round 16 and this will be our finishing round one single crochet in every stitch until you get back around to your beginning working through both loops now like that all right i've made it uh back around I'll take that some stitch marker out we don't need it anymore and i've uh made it to the end and i have my 30 stitches still at the end of round 16 i'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into my next stitch and then i will go ahead and clip this off and then i will hide any remaining tails that i have on my hat and on my cowl all right once you get done that is it that's all there is to it. Super easy. Now, if you want to put a pom-pom or something on this, you certainly could. I'm going to leave the pom-pom off mine. I'm not much of a pom-pom type of person, but it would look really cute, you know, if you wanted to attach a pom-pom to the top or something. Otherwise, that's it. Super easy. Hat and cow set. The yarn's gorgeous. It's very nice, but of course, any yarn would look gorgeous too. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and a share if you can. Don't forget to check out all my other videos I have on my channel. I have hundreds of crochet tutorials, lots of yarn hauls, talks, yarn reviews, anything yarn crochet related. I got it covered. If you look over there in the right hand side of the screen, I'm going to put a playlist of all my videos, hundreds of them. Maybe if you get a chance, you can look through there. You never know. You might find something else you'll let you like and want to make. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye-bye.